Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayleen, K-A-Y-L-N. Today I'm going to be doing a What's in My Bag 2020 edition. You know, it's back to school season. Not really much to say, but I'm going to show you guys what I got. Hopefully give you guys some ideas what to put in your bag. I am a junior in college and I'm 18 if you guys didn't know. And I know people are going to be like, well, you're 18, high you junior in college? I skipped a year of college by doing it in high school. Now on to what's in my bag okay so we're gonna start with the big pocket this is already open because you know i'm ready to go as you know you need notebooks i have five classes this year so i needed five notebooks Hold on, let me... i needed five notebooks and i got all of these five star notebooks college rules of course let me show you them i got this one they didn't have that many cute options for real this year so I just got what I could get and I got I tried to get stuff with like pinks or purples in them except for this one right here this one doesn't have pink or purple but I thought it was like you know classy girl classy batch and then I got this one so yeah so I got these five notebooks um I recommend writing notes on paper in college I tried doing you know typing up my notes first year no I feel like writing notes on paper made a difference in my grades and my test scores because you write things that you hear like it's just different it's just different but yeah the next two things i'm about to pull out are these number one i got a folder the reason i got a folder is because you get papers on campus a lot like you'll get like um like flyers and stuff and even like I don't know, I just got a lot of random papers in college. And so this folder from Walmart, it has like three or what is that? One, two, three, four, four pockets that you can put papers in so I can keep them organized based on what is what. I thought this was great to have. And then I can just have my papers in my backpack, you feel me? Yeah, smart. All right, so the next thing I got was a, a planner. This is just to write my homework in. Um, it's like this inside. I got this from Walmart. It just has like all the lines. I like them like this, the long ones where I can write my assignments in detail. So you feel me? I'm gonna be writing my night assignments. Um, I do, you, you are gonna use this in college. This is just something that I like to use and I like to cross off, you know, what, what I got done for the day. So yeah, don't forget to write your homework because I can't count the amount of times I've forgotten an assignment. Like, it's ridiculous because I didn't put it in my planner. But most of the times I didn't. I was like a straight A student almost. So. The next thing that I put in my backpack is my notebook. This notebook is what I put my lists and like things I need to remember. This, I'm gonna show you the pages. Okay, these pages are just like this. I usually write like things I have to do and I'll put today and I'll put the date and then I'll put like everything I have to do and I, I make the list of things I have to do the day before the day that I'm writing for and yeah and I like to cross them off the list this helps in college a lot because I always had a lot to do in one day and this this is what I used to do it just something with just line oh something with just lines in it that's for like work skin and I got this I got this on Amazon. Next, I got some Expo markers with an eraser. Um, in the library, when I go to study and I want to write on the whiteboards, I used to check out the markers. You know, you can check out some Expo markers to use, but you have to give it back by a certain time. See, with me, I kept forgetting and I would walk out with the markers and had to pay $35. So I'm not doing it no more. And I bought my own markers to bring to the library. So when I want to write on the whiteboards while I'm studying, these will come in handy. That's it for that pocket. Yeah, you don't really need that many school supplies. I don't feel like in college, it's not, it's not as um, like it's not like that. Um, um next thing I got are index cards. I have more. I only just put one in here. Um, I use index cards for my harder classes with lots of definitions. I feel like writing them all out, I remember, like, I recognize the word more. After going to college, like, you learn a lot. You learn a lot your first year of college. You learn what you need, and then you learn the things you bought that you didn't need. This is one of the things that you buy and you should need if you're studying for real. Like, yeah, so index cards. <laughs> so then I got some scissors. I have everything still in here because, you know, I was just like, let me make this video. But yeah, I got these pink scissors. I love pink and purple, but light pink and light purple, but they had this. 
And I needed some big girl scissors, so I got some big girl scissors. I have a, hold on, it's actually right here. This is my pencil pouch that I use every, I've been using this since high school and I wash it in the washing machine because because it's cloth, so I can just wash it. And I just put my pencils in here. These are the pencils I got for the year. Because they had pink ones, and I thought that was cute. So I got the pink and orange and greens and peach and whatever. Got these pencils. I also got some other pencils, but they were lost in my bag, so I couldn't find it. Like my Walmart grocery bags or my Walmart bags or whatever. So I just... I'm showing you these. These would obviously go in my pencil pouch, which isn't prepared for the video for some reason because I don't have it together. Also, look like this is the pen that I write in my notebook with. I like to use a color that I like to see, which is pink. Pink, so I write them all in pink and I cross them off in like a pink highlighter. If that makes sense, that's how I. That's how I do it. That's a great tip. Y'all can take that from me. That would go in here, and also my black pens would go in here. But I, I didn't buy black pens this year because I, I have a lot of black pens. So I'm just going to put them in here. So yeah, my black pens would also be in here. This would be in this pouch, you know. That's that. I had got this thing of post-it notes. I like to use post-it notes to put like in my notes. Like if the teacher says something in class that I don't want to write on my notes, I'll take a post-it, put it on the page and write it like that. And I feel like that helps a lot. I don't know. It just... That's just how I do it. And also, if it's like a to-do list or something and I need a post-it, I'll put it in like that as well. So yeah, that's what I use that for. I also got, oh my, I love like sparkles and gray, like glitters and stuff. And so I saw these for my notebook so I can put it at the edge of my notes to flip to the right page when I'm looking for certain notes, like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. I just thought that was, that was great. I'm definitely gonna use these a lot because first of all, they're cute. That's all I have to say. All right, so the next thing that's in my bag is an umbrella. So my campus is mainly outdoors. So I go to Georgia State. And so it, when it, if it rains outside of class, I need to be prepared. I can't go back to my dorm and get it because it's like leaving class. You need to always have an umbrella, especially if you go to Georgia State. So if it's raining, you could just pull your umbrella out and stop the rain from raining on you and your cute fit and your cute hairstyle because that will make you mad and yeah oops next is my laptop um this is just a regular hp laptop um so what i'm gonna say is i recommend hp or brands like it for college because Certain brands make it hard for you in college, but you would can still get through with it. I'm not gonna name any names, but yeah. Do what you want with that information. This is a must, a brush, this, and an edge brush, which I just lost my edge brush today, so I can't pull it out with this stuff, but I would usually have a brush, this, edge brush. I got a mini gel. I got this from the beauty supply store. I've been had this brush, and you know, an edge brush. Cause when my hair messes up, I hate when I can't fix it. Like that is the most annoying thing to me. So to have everything on deck is very essential for me. I need it. So next, um, my keys. I don't even know if I'm getting a room this year, but if I do, um, my dorm keys will be on here too. And it says the state way, Georgia state, or I don't know it doesn't say the state way. It says sustainability. Go and green the state way. This is obviously like a sustainability keychain i don't remember how i got it but you know georgia state gives you a lot of stuff like this so this is my keychain for the year i'm definitely gonna get something a lot cuter this is just for now this is temporary then i have candy um i have chocolate cravings a lot and it's like it's really serious like it gets bad so i need to always have chocolate next i have whatever perfume i wore for the day um today i wore this that's why i put this in my bag even though I didn't go to school, but like just to show you guys what I would do usually, I would put whatever perfume I use for the day. I put it in every morning, so whatever I use for a day. And if y'all want a perfume collection, I got y'all. My collection is huge, and I can tell you guys all about the scents and everything. Just let me know. That's nothing to do with this, so let me move on. But yeah, this is what I had, the Victoria's Secret Dream Angel. So whatever perfume slash lotion I'm using for the day, that will go in here, and it switches out every day. Also, uh, a deodorant because... 
I feel like deodorant wears off. I tried different ones. This one works the best for me, but it still can wear off. So I like to reapply it throughout the day. And in this last pocket, I have makeup remover wipes. I have baby wipes. And I have Clorox wipes. Now let me explain why I have each of them. Now with the Clorox wipes, when you go like to the library or to your, just to class, you get to dirty places. I don't know about y'all, but I personally can't deal with like dirtiness or stuff that look dirty. So I always feel the need to clean stuff off, especially at the library. For some reason, I feel like everything's dirty. So it's good to have Clorox wipes to be able to clean everything. I feel like it's perfect, you know, whatever. Next, I have baby wipes. Baby wipes, how do I say this without saying it? You know when you need it. Basically, if you're the kind of girl that likes to use baby wipes when they are needed, if you know what I mean, that's what these are here for. Yeah. And then what was the other thing? Oh, makeup wipes. Like if I am in the library late, like at 1 a.m. or something, and I want to like, I don't know. I, the only type of makeup I really usually wear is just mascara. So if I wanted to wipe off my mascara and I'm just out and about, I'll definitely just use the makeup wipes. Um, I don't wear other makeup, so this this helped me get it off. I usually could just use water. I use different mascaras, and one of the ones I use are really hard to get off, which is water. So I would need this to take it off. Dang. My emergency kit. It's the last thing in here. This is a Victoria's Secret. Um, I'm not going to show you guys what's in here because I'm going to make a separate video of what's inside my emergency kit. If you guys want to see that, it'll be up like probably like a couple of days after this video will be up. That's the last thing in here um oh no it's not i got hair ties in here too because sometimes i redo my hair when i'm out or in class or studying somewhere and the tie hair tie breaks and that makes me mad and so i have some in here just in case that happens and the other thing i feel like i would have is a water bottle which i don't have right now but a water bottle is very essential that's it that's everything that was in my bag i hope you guys enjoyed that video it was actually interesting to make i feel like i like to talk especially about like school stuff so if you want to see like some more school videos comment what you want to see if you want to see some more college tips or studying tips i could do that as well because i feel like I really mastered the way I studied from being in college. I really mastered the way I feel like isn't doing too much where you're like wasting your time, but you're also like doing enough if you know what I mean. So yeah, so if you want to see that, comment that and I'll got you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, especially subscribe. I really appreciate it if y'all subscribe. Like that'll be me, that'll make me happy. So yeah, just go ahead and subscribe, whatever, whatever. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. Like, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, so, and then also follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to post more. I'm really trying to. My Instagram is at K-C-A-S-I-M-I-R underscore underscore. I will have it on the screen. And yeah, go ahead and follow me there. Follow me on TikTok. It's the same at K-C-A-S-I-M-I-R underscore underscore. You know, try to post a lot on both or whatever. So yeah, follow me on my socials and subscribe to my channel if you want to do any of this. Do it if you want and like and comment, share, do whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.